Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, the holidays are almost upon us and if you're an adult with kids in your lives, there's nothing better than getting a handmade gift from your favorite kid. So today, I'm going to start a three-part series and it's going to be on candle making. We're going to be taking beeswax and turning it into rolled candles. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fat boy. And why I call it a fat boy is because it's fat on the top and it's skinny on the bottom and that skinny part is where you put it into the candle holder. I'm going to be using this kit that I got from Amazon. It's a beeswax candle making kit. This comes with beeswax sheets and it also comes with the wicks. And you can get these, you can get them in two different styles. You can get them with just straight color and that's what this one is here. Or you can get mixed colors and that's really fun because then you can mix and match the colors on your candles. So I'm going to teach you how to make the fat boy right now. For this project, you'll need beeswax sheets. In this case, I'm going to be using two colors. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, ruler, candle wick, scissors, and a hairdryer. So I'm starting with a full sheet. Now, you'll have to understand, I've been using this with kids and doing my, my classes and stuff, and I've already cut my sheets in half. And so what I do, they come like this, they're 8 inches by 16 inches, and what I've done is I've actually taken an X-Acto knife and I've cut it down the middle so that I end up with two pieces. When you're making a fat candle like this, you're going to be using the full sheet. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to understand that most candle holders are pretty small. And, you know, this is a fatso patso, and that's not going to fit. So what I need to do is create a little base. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure up an inch. And then I'm going to measure down with my ruler 12 inches. What I want to leave is about 6 inches of candle. So I'm going to cut here and then I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to cut all the way down. And it cuts nice and easy, as you can see with an X-Acto knife. And then I'm just going to pull this off. Now I'm going to save this because I can use this for decorating other candles. This is going to become the part that gets stuck into the candle base. The rest of this is going to become the fat candle. So the first thing first that we're going to do is take our hair dryer and warm up this end after we have measured our wick. So the first thing we're going to do is just measure our wick here. And the wick comes with the kit which is great. I'm going to measure just about an inch longer than my candle. Just cut that so that's about five inches there because this is four. And I'm going to take my hair dryer. Now you want to do this very fast. You do not want to belabor the hair drying process here. This is just to warm it up just a tiny bit. As you can see that was really short, right? That was about like two seconds. And it was just to warm that up enough so that I can stick my wick right down in. One thing about beeswax is you want to be very careful about how you store it. Okay, I'm going to give this another shot real quick. And I'm just going to fold this up and over. Beeswax can get very brittle if it, it gets cold and gets heated and then gets cold. So you want to be very careful about how you store this. You want to make sure that you always are storing it in a it's just a room temperature place, like no no hotter than 75 degrees. Okay, I'm going to turn this on and just give the whole just going to give the whole thing a quick heat up. Now, as you can see, as I, as I roll this, the most important thing here is to keep this really tight. See how tight that is? Nice and tight. And I'm also making sure that I keep this line along the bottom line as I roll. I want to make sure that I keep it nice and tight, and I want to make sure that that is rolled up in line and it's not going off on an angle. So there we go, straight up. Okay, now we're to the point where we're going to get to the fatso patso part of our candle and we just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And you can see I'm putting pressure here and making it nice and tight. Now, see how it started to go off there to an angle? Now's the top part is what I'm going to be using as my guide. 
I want to make sure that I keep it lined up so that I'm getting a nice straight candle. Okay, don't let it go drifting off. And again, make sure that you're nice and tight all the way to the very end. Now what we're going to do is use the hairdryer one more time. That's just to warm that end up so that I can take my finger, smooth it on here, and seal my candle. Now there you have it. It's nice and simple and sweet, but we're going to add one little embellishment here. I'm going to take my ruler on a different colored beeswax, and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to cut a thin strip. I'm going to warm this up real quickly. And I'm going to wrap it right around the top here. And you see, what I love about this is it's, it's so malleable. It's so soft and flexible. When you get to the point where it's laying over top, just use your Ignacto knife to cut it off like that. There you go. And you can use your fingers to just mush it in so you get that nice, even design right there. And this is what I want to show you. See how it fits down in there perfectly. And there you have it. One fat boy candle in his candle holder. And I will tell you that these burn beautifully. I love lighting these. They'll last a, a goodly amount of time. I lit one the other night when I was uh, working on this project, and it lasted for a good 45 minutes to an hour. And what's really nice about it is it doesn't drip a lot, and you don't get a lot of smoke. For more fun ideas made out of beeswax, make sure you come back and check the other two candles in my series, because remember, this is a three-part series. For more great ideas, check us out, sophie-world.com.